Time for another hopefully interesting adventure into UXW Bill's antique computer collection. And what I have here today is a pretty much garden variety Tandy 1000 personal computer. This is the Tandy 1000 SX. And from the outside, this machine doesn't look all that fancy. And I believe that the SX was the most basic model of IBM PC compatible or mostly PC compatible computers that they sold at the time. Now ordinarily one of these wouldn't be all that special. I mean it's interesting in its own right but it's really not all that special. Except for the fact that this one has a bit of a special option card in it, an expansion card. There were two of these. Um, one of them is still in the local school system and this one was liberated. And they had them hooked up to Tandy CGA displays of which I got one. And they also had a single Kodak CGA, monochrome CGA, interestingly enough, display panel that sat on an overhead projector. But even that was not the most interesting thing here, and unfortunately I didn't get that. That stayed with the machine that remained in the school. No, what makes this machine so special is this expansion card. This is a Diamond Computer Systems. You might know them better as Diamond Multimedia before they eventually changed their name at some point to Sonic Blue. And then I believe they went completely bankrupt and are no longer in business today. But this is the Diamond Computer Systems TrackStar 128. And what the TrackStar 128 is, is an Apple II Plus computer on a board, a single board computer. And this thing plugged in to the expansion slots, 8-bit ISA, of a PC compatible computer and it also had connectivity points to intercept the CGA display signal and connect either to the system's internal disk drives or an Apple Disk 2 disk drive. Anyway, this thing has a set of uh, microcode ROMs that were licensed from Apple, so this is a licensed clone of the Apple II Plus computer. It has two 6502 processors, one of them from Rockwell Semiconductor up top, and the other one marked with GTE and a micro sign. So I don't know if that was the GTE of telephone glory or not, but it might certainly have been. Of course, it has a couple of simple logic chips and some memory chips over here in the upper corner to make the emulation complete. Anyway, the problem with this card is, and, and I really don't confess to understanding this, but for some reason, when Diamond produced this card, although you would need the card to make use of the supporting software, which is a pretty effective copy control right there, they copy protected the software, which is a real problem. Because it seems that nobody has ever managed to crack the copy protection on it, and there's not much interest in these cards anyhow, it seems. Believe me, I've seen every result that a web search can return, and there's nothing too promising out there even today, and 2011. There are a couple of broken disk images that allegedly contain the software, but I'm told that they don't work, and I've certainly never gotten them working with this card. So anyway, my request to you, if you have one of these cards that's operational, if you have the software diskettes for one of these cards, and also it seems that my interposer connection went missing at some point because this Tandy 1000, and you might be able to see it here if you look closely at the floppy drives, this went under in the basement flood that I had in 2004. Now the computer itself survived it, but upon cracking it open a couple months ago, I realized that the floppy disk cabling and the needed interposer cable for this thing are seemingly gone, and I have no idea where they'd be. So if anybody's got that board set and the software to go with it, I would definitely love to hear from you because I'm trying to preserve a bit of uh, interesting computer history here, you know, a little more digital archaeology that I seem to love so much. I have a working keyboard, so that's not a problem, and I have another Tandy 1000, I believe, I'm not sure what model it is, but it's one that has a hard drive in it as opposed to the two floppies, and it's in perfect working order, it's something I picked up off the curb. But if you can help out with these things, I would definitely appreciate your sending me a message. Thank you.